The following Wicked Turtle Network presentation has strong language and strong content. Viewer discretion is advised. What are you talking what about? Up, peeps? What up, and peeps? It's your boy, the Penguin. And on the mic tonight, I have yeah. my fellow Kingsman, the Dude. What's up, everybody? As you can hear, the dogs have already started. That's all right. We got our beaver weasels in today. Yeah, we do. Bear's right over there. So he's chilling now, finally. He had to go pee-pee. Nice. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, so it's been a little bit. Uh, we took another week off, uh, you know, wrestling. Yep. I'm still recovering. I, last week, I was just really tired. I was passing out by the time the Duke got a hold of me and said, hey, it's time to record. I'm like, oh, I'm tired. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, That's all right, let me take a week. break. So. Yeah, I've been. T- yeah, I mean, you had a big week. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's it was a really big week for you. Hell yeah, the, the band is back in town. Oh yeah, we'll we'll get into that. We'll get into that. Let's pay some bills first, though. Let's talk about Ray's energy drinks and the Duke returning to Ray's energy drinks. Yeah, the big return, right? The big return. All right, let's talk about Ray's. Wicked Turtle has joined the hashtag Ray's Rebellion with Ray's energy drinks. Ray's energy drinks gives you fresh, which stands for focus, recovery, energy, stamina, and hydration. With giving you no crash, Raise has zero sugar with electrolytes and BCAA aminos. So hashtag raise up. Go to your local GNC and vitamin shop. I'm still saying that because I went to a vitamin shop the other day. They did have Raise. Oh, nice. Yeah. And pick up a can today or go to repsports.com. Order your energy drinks in bulk and put in the code Wicked Turtle for 15% off your order. And that code will be in the description of this cast. So uh, we like to talk a little bit about Rays while we do uh, a little tiny sponsor. I mean, because we have enjoyed it. We're not just, you know. We're, we're drinkers. Uh, yeah, we're Rays. drinkers. Yeah. Uh, I just ordered the variety pack two. Um, yeah. And in that is the watermelon. Ooh. Is also, and I'm, by the way, for the listeners, I'm putting it up here. I'm putting the cans up. Strawberry Kulala. Kul, 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 am I saying that? Kulata. Kulata. Strawberry Kulata. Hey, I think the Duke actually has these in his new pack. Strawberry culotta. Uh, he's got full ones though. I have empty ones. <laughs> <laughs> I have my all-time favorite grape bubble gum, which is so hard to get a hold of. I'll trade you that uh, insider, that insider that you wanted to try. And the so guava mango. Grapes. I have a guava mango. Guava mango. So now I actually also on the way coming. Uh, with my order, I have the new hydration packs of prickly pear coming. They sent me a whole bunch of uh, hydration packs. What flavors do you have? Let's see. Probably um, Voodoo is one of them. There is Voodoo. Vanilla. No- oh, vanilla soft serve. Um, Wait, what? Yeah. Can Apollo. you pull that out? Can I see that? Yeah. The, you want to try? You want to see the vanilla soft serve? Is that a, is, this is a hyper sleep. It's a vanilla. Oh. Yeah, I've, I've had the vanilla soft. Serve. Have you ever used those hyper sleep? Yeah, I got a nice sleep out of that. It's like telic and melatonin. You know what? I think I'm gonna try that tonight. Oh look, here's a cinnamon swirl. I haven't slept in such a long time. Yeah, dude. <laughs> the shoulder's killing me, man. The shoulder. As soon as the shoulder acts up, boom, I'm up. Pre-workout, um, sour gummies, Galaxy Burst, Voodoo. What do you Baja feel about line. the sour gummies? The sour gummies is always there and available. What do you feel about that? Do you like the sour gummies? Yeah. Um, sour gummies. Yeah. I, I like that. Um, probably not as good as that ghost one that you were, that you were showing me. That's no. Like I got to tell you that uh, this is right up there. This is upcoming of, review, right? Yeah. This is really one of my favorites. Yeah. It was just a really good one, right. and they're available at um. Gas stations now. I saw them at Vitamin Shop. I saw all the ones that you showed me, all at Vitamin Shop when I stopped there the other day. Yeah, um, the one Nittany Mart has them, or whatever, the one up here in our town. But they're they're sparse. Once they get them, they go out. So I was talking about your area to friends the other day because I was like, I I had a good time when I went camping up there. 
Yeah. Uh, I just, I, I had no internet, so it was cool. It, I mean, it was, it was half and half. I had internet anxiety. And then I also like, was like, oh, thank God I'm away from everything. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I like your area a lot. And, and again, like I, I have to go up and get some of that pizza. I just have to get pizza over here. Oh yeah, dude. Leo's yeah. just opened a place in Lock I know. Haven. And they, and they keep selling out every day. I, yeah. I, I follow them. Trust me. I follow them. Sorry. Well, I, I actually I'll got... have to get down there and uh, speak to Mark about doing like a review and like a, a video of promoting I'd like both to. Of, I'd, like, yeah. I'd like to go. Yeah. We, I need to make it up there. As soon as, as soon as the snow breaks and the weather's not... Yeah. yeah. You know, we get up there and visit both locations. It'd be cool, man. I'll make a trip up there and we'll do some cool stuff together yeah. up there with some foods, some foods and peoples. Mm-hmm. That'll be part of the spotlight. We'll start doing the spotlight stuff by then. But uh, it was a uh, June twenty seventh. Is there gonna, there's going to be a food um, truck festival? Oh really? Um, in the town, actually, in the town I live in, Nesbit. Oh okay, yeah. So yeah, that's like within walking distance. I'll be doing that. For sure. I'm trying to figure out when do they start when do they do the um the baseball stuff up there, the little league stuff. And... Ooh, that's like right around the I, I wanna say like the end of summer. Yeah. Like around August. Oh, I think that's when it is, because when I went up there, man, they were having it, it was like right in the right in like the the thick of it. Yeah. Right? And they had those food trucks from around the world and shit there. That was kind of cool. Oh, man, yeah. Well, that was the cool part of, like, the summer where Pokemon Go was huge. <laughs> like, Pokemon that just, Go. Yeah, that took everything, like, the food truck scene and just doubled it. Like, That's a lot awesome. Of, a lot of the restaurant food scene that we have now came from that boom. Like, everybody wanted their own food truck at that time because it was just so popping. I started playing Pokemon Go again. Oh, really? Yeah, I, you're me I, and you were friends on there. I sent you a gift. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, he I gotta to get, get on, on there, there and, and see. I gotta get on there and put. I start um, playing. I I get on and I'm I'm not doing the walking stuff, but I because I get Pokemon like in my house. I I'll spoof. Get I, I, I can't spoof, spoof anymore because they they gave me the threatening. If you spoof again, we're gonna kick you back. We're gonna ban you for uh, life. Ooh, I never got even one message as far as that goes. I have backups, so it doesn't matter. But. Like this yeah. one's pretty far, and I have a lot of good Pokemon. Like I got Charizard and Mew, and yeah, I don't have Mewtwo yet, but I don't have know. any of the Mew or Mewtwo. I got off of it for the longest time. Like I, I sporadically go on. And I off. got off of it because I planned on I want to get because I got um Pokemon Shield or Sword, no Sword, and I wanted to get Arceus, Arceus, and I wanted oh, to get I wanted I to get Snap, that. and I wanted to get um. What There's so many Pearl? Nintendo games to buy. Yeah. <laughs> we have a cornucopia of ter- of Nintendo games right now, like the Pokemon game. And that'll game, probably I totally lead into play. my uh, my shout out of the week. But I've been watching a YouTuber, and uh, there's going to be a big sale. Well, there is a big sale because of March 10th, Mario Day. March. Oh yeah. M A R Mario Day. Yeah. Yeah. So um, so, uh, oh, uh, one second here. Yeah, because I actually got a couple of them. Well, actually, I found these on Marketplace, but this one's going to be on sale. Super Mario Odyssey's going to be on sale. Have you beat that yet? I didn't beat it. I didn't have just started playing it. That's um, such a good game. Switch U is on sale. Ah, uh, this one. Yeah, I have that. I have both of those games. Yeah, they were good. I, I want to get um, the one with the Fury, the with the Bowser Fury. That's on sale too for forty bucks. Yeah, I've. I, that's that's the only one I don't have. I need. And to get um, back. the uh, three D. Ooh, uh, yeah, that's on sale. Luigi's Mansion and uh, the three D All Stars. One. Oh, with, really? Uh, the three D All Stars is on there. That's actually on sale at Walmart too. Oh, nice. Yeah. F- Seems like you like... went bargain hunting for for video games this week, man. Well, I actually, yeah, I was. I'm re- so happy I... that you're playing Breath of the Wild. Oh, that's a good game, dude. Twenty five bucks I found that for. So good. So good. It's probably yeah, Nintendo's best game. That's one of yeah. Nintendo's best games, man. I'm telling you. Like you, you get lost. I neglected my Switch for, for so hours. Long. You get lost for hours playing that game. Like I thought Skyrim was good, but this this takes Skyrim like I have Skyrim for Nintendo. Skyrocket. Really? That's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the same. But if you have um if you have the Zelda, which you do, I actually went and bought the I was into the Zelda as soon as it came out, so I went out and bought the Amiibos to go with it. And now Ooh. I have I have the Amiibo card. Um, if you go on Etsy, 
you Ooh. can actually instead of getting the statues, which I have some of the statues, which I collect. Right. I got all the. They'll sell you all the amiibo cards for like it's like ten bucks. Oh, nice. And I got a whole bunch of them. Like there's ones like this one right here that I have. Yeah. Is the Link Wolf with all those hearts. Look at that. Oh helmet. wow, that's freaking sweet. So, so if you, if you had Twilight Princess, yeah, for the Wii U, you could actually do amiibos on there. They had amiibo attachment. They sold amiibos on there. So what you could do is you could um, port over your Twilight Princess um, wolf that you had leveled up, yeah, Link leveled up, over to Breath of the Wild. And use it. So oh, when wow. I scan this in on my on my Nintendo, I get the Wolf Link that comes up, and he helps you. He's like a little. Oh, sweet. Yeah, but once his energy's gone, once his energy's gone, you can't use him for a whole day. Oh, unless wow. you do, unless you do some. Ah, uh, oh, yeah. Things you can actually rewind your uh, Nintendo date back on your. I've done that on my uh, yeah Animal Crossing. So yeah, I've done that many times, so I get money. Yeah, but the, I there's a did whole bunch of cars on, on here, though. I lost yeah. my one character, and I waited a day to um, lose him because I bought my RFD card on um, Etsy for mm -hmm. uh, Rex because I like to have Rex. He's he's my spirit animal on Animal Crossing, so I was like, fuck, I lost him, so I had to go out and buy him, and he ain't leaving now. Like, all these cards give you different things. Like that one gave me Wolf Link. Um, there's ones that give you a Pona, the the horse, which is like the best horse in the game. Oh wow! Um, there's some that give you the classic Link uh, outfit. That's kind of cool. So some of the Mebos are really cool to find. If you ever find those in the wild, that's actually not a bad thing to collect. They're actually really nice too. Like they they have really nice detail to them. Yeah, I'd have but to look for them. I got if the I card. Them, get them. I, I just cheated a little bit and got the card. You go on to Etsy or um, Amazon. I bought actually this one. I bought off of Amazon. Oh, nice! And th they come with all the amiibos in one little package like this. It's nice. Like it's so much easier than carrying the statues. You can carry this with you. I can put this in my bag, my Nintendo bag, and I have my amiibos with me. So nice. It's it's it's, it's not a bad it's not it's not bad. Especially you love I love Breath of the Wild, man. And my son is like a fanatic when it comes to Zelda. My son oh, really? has everything: clothes, socks, shoes, Sweet. hats, uh, posters. He's beaten the game probably sixteen times. Wow! He, not to a hundred percent. Like I keep telling him that, like you can beat it. That's fine. I've beat it five or six times. All right. But you, I didn't beat it a hundred percent yet. Like you got to level up the sword. You got to level up. You know, you got to get all the stuff in the map. It's a big map. It yeah, really is. I got it because I know Breath of the Wild Two is coming out. So I was like, I want to get in on this while the good. You're gonna good. put hours into it. I'm telling you, you're gonna put hours and hours and hours and hours into it. Your your mom's gonna be in the store shopping while you're out in the car fucking chilling with it. You know, I'm telling you. Oh yeah, you. absolutely. <laughs> I've done it at, at like I've done it at doctor's offices. I've taken my switch and, and played Breath of the Wild when it first came out. Like, dude, that was the game. Yeah, I was gonna I, take it I, this. I, I was gonna take it game. this weekend, but you know, I was like, you know what? Too busy for that. I'm shit. so careless that like I know I'm gonna leave it behind. But I, I seen a there was a couple of people who had their switch with them this weekend. Really? Oh yeah. You know it's, it don't it don't feel. Usually I see one switch at a wrestling show. Every wrestling show I go to, at least hmm. somebody with a switch. Remember the DS that light or whatever that you see you could put in your pocket. Oh yeah 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 yeah. I used to I used to see a lot of people with those a lot the DS lights. Those were kind of cool. Now I, I just really play game. I, I play really... Game Pass on my phone now. That's it. Nice. <laughs> I never really seen a lot of people with the. Uh, the whole 3D thing, the whole 3DS. No, I didn't, I never got into that. I didn't think that. I didn't think that was cool. I was like, we okay. all had the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance, and you know what I mean. I had those. Those were really cool. And like the first version of the DS, DS lights and shit like that. Said, the Switch but... is nice. I think so. The Switch is probably the best, the best console they ever made. Oh yeah. Just to be, a, and I'm talking about the big one. My my son has the Switch Lite, which is okay. That's okay. I have a Switch yeah. Lite. My That's okay. I sold it to my mother. <laughs> you sold it to your mother? <laughs> yeah. For the net, for the nieces so they can play it. Oh, okay. 
But uh, I, I like the, I ori- just I like the original a... Switch or the o- it was yeah. the OLED one. Yeah, I like that because it's it's not just a portable console; it's actually a TV console too. Right. Like, and I I love that concept. I think that's cool, and I really thought that was the future. You know, I really think I was thinking like you know. I if- didn't I didn't divulge into getting the OLED because I'm not a big Switch like portable player. I usually like play mine docked. But I needed to, I needed the one that you could dock. Like I didn't like the fact yeah. that switch the light one was handheld only. No, you need you need a game system to go take with you when you're taking a shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's basically what I do too. I'll be sitting there playing NBA and I'm like, all right, undock. Yeah. <laughs> you need something in there, man. <laughs> I wouldn't get a um uh what are they called? The um Valve Steam Deck. They look oh, yeah. really cool. Like they're like portable computers, aren't they? Oh yeah, and there's like the starting price is only like four hundred. Can you ima- can you imagine Xbox portable? Oh man. I put money into that. Like Xbox needs to do that yesterday. Like the Xbox Switch. That'd be cool. Fuck yeah, man, because then you already got Game Pass on phone, so why couldn't they? I mean I try I- Game Pass. I I was playing Game Pass tonight on the Come phone. on, Billy playing- Gates. Come on, Billy Gates. I was playing uh Skate Three. On my on my phone tonight. Oh man! With my Game Pass. See, it wouldn't take too much of a you know what I mean. Come on, Billy I mean, Gates. I want to put some know. money in your pocket. I'm VR Xbox. is where it's at. I don't know if you've ever seen any of that meta stuff that they're doing now, like that meta universe or whatever yeah. metaverse. I've been watching some of that on on YouTube. It's yeah. kind of cool. It's actually, I'm actually kind of I'm almost leaning over to the dark side of the force because yeah. I'm like that's kind of cool like i seen the one half-life game how i'd like to play i just don't want to be one of those douchebags like hey man i'm on the virtual thing man i'm so cool on the virtual on the virtual world man. yeah yeah you know like I'm oh, right. i have no friends <laughs> playstation home all over again i'm all right that's what it is dude it's virtual playstation home because they had like i was watching some people play I'm so this good thing. on that they had bowling dude they had a court system like you could get put in virtual jail and i'm like wow. Because the one guy's like, yeah, I was I was a lawyer for a day. I'm like, wait, what? In the a metaverse. What? He was a lawyer for, in the metaverse. I'm like, what? What? Good Lord. Free he's like, guy. Yeah. He's, like, I, I, he's like, I squeezed up. There's another another video he did. He's like, yeah, I squeezed up on some virtual boobies. In, in Good what? Lord. Strip club. What? <laughs> Can you imagine our rest? Our, can you imagine the wrestling fans going in, in the in the metaverse? Nope. Who, actually, I, I um, the Creep Squad. You know what? Who who's the guy that does commentary for SmackDown? That's on that's on the on the YouTube's Pat, oh, Pat McAfee. Ma- yep, Pat McAfee. Dude, since we have since we haven't been on the air, I've watched two interviews that he's done. The one with Brock Lesnar turned me into more of a Brock Lesnar fan. Yeah, it was. Dude, Brock Lesnar was so real in there, like no kayfabe. Yeah. And it was such a great interview of Brock. It was the best interview I've ever seen of Brock Lesnar. Really? Like I I'm I'm not a huge I'm not the hugest Brock Lesnar fan. I was cool when, when he first came in and like when he came back and stuff with Wolfen Ass and John Cena. Yeah. But after that, it, he became more toolish and I'm like, right. mm, you know? And 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 as a person, during that interview, I fell in love with Brock Lesnar all over again. Now, granted, I still feel that Roman Reigns is going to beat him at WrestleMania. Well, of course. But still, I just thought that it was such a great interview. So and then you, you sound like an old freaking Oldsmobile. <laughs> what's she sound like? She's over here snoring. She sounds like an old Oldsmobile. <laughs> yep. <laughs> there she is. There's that beaver wheel. Yep. But, uh, the one he did with Vince McMahon was really cool. Oh, that was really good, yeah. And Vince McMahon was saying that they're toying around with doing shows in the metaverse. They're wow, going to try to integrate cool. integrate the metaverse into WWE. Like, that'd be like taking they... the Thunderdome to the next level. You know, what it, you know what I could see? I think that would be cool. All right, I got this. I think it would be cool if they did it for like WrestleMania weekend where you could do like a virtual walkthrough, like a convention style. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Like you, I, even if you pay for like a ticket or something, but to be able to do like a VR like walkthrough and stuff. That's and, a yeah, that'd be cool. I'd be all hands on. 
That'd be kind of cool. Because you know it would be popping out like sauerkraut. <laughs> <laughs> uh, coming soon to the Wicked Turtle Network store, by the way. Popping out yeah. like sauerkraut. Two bowls. <laughs> Two bowls. <laughs> One hand. <laughs> Good Lord. That's going to be on our porn site. Two bowls, one hand. <laughs> Two bowls, one hand. <laughs> Good Lord. On OnlyFans. Uh, on our OnlyFans, yeah. Yeah, Two, join our uh, Patreon. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a penguin making sauerkraut in his underwear. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> 24 hours a day. <laughs> Yo, I seen something today. Somebody made um a poor man's burnt end with hot dogs. Oh, I've seen those. I've seen that's on TikTok. I've seen it on yeah. TikTok. Yeah, those are those are good. They look good. Cool. Yeah, I would yeah, eat those. It? I would eat those too. Dude. I've seen one too. Somebody Poor man, um, my rear end. I see somebody yeah. with bologna. I see somebody yeah. with bologna. I see yeah. them too with bologna too. That'd be sweet. I'd eat that too. Oh yeah, dude. I had a bologna. But you're up the up where the best bologna is, man. The, the Lebanon, Lebanon bologna. Literally two blocks away from my house is made that. Which one? The seltzer? You said. Uh, I think it is. Yeah. Or Kunzlers. Oh Kunzlers is the best, Kunzlers. man. Yeah, Kunzlers is one. I no, like. I like Seltzers. Seltzer's you like Seltzers? Sweet Bologna is really good. And you can buy it by the big ass rolls, man. Okay. How is that? I, want, um, I really want to come up your way for just that. Like, you like ring? Are you like Lebanon Bologna? Oh yeah. Are you a fan of the Lebanon of the Lebanon Bologna? Oh, I love Lebanon Bologna. You got? Do you do? Do you do the Lebanon <clears throat> Bologna hoagies up there? Yes. Yes, they do do that up here. Nice. I'm trying to see. I had um, where I went to. You know, it's funny. There's um, a, a hoagie shop in the local area called Melitos, and they said that um, they do a um cheesesteak with the French fries on it. They said they call it the Carson because their son Carson um invented this, and um, I'd say that um. Uh, if you believe that, my friend, uh, I I got a bridge to sell you in the middle of Georgia, you know, because I've been eating it that way for twenty years at Hobie's Hoagies. It's well, do you know what the do you know what the Lebanon sandwich is? No. So it's a piece of it's it's two pieces of bread, of course. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Lebanon bologna, cheese, okay. potato chips, ketchup. 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 You lost me at ketchup. That's what I said when I first saw it. I said the same thing. I was like, oh, that sounds disgusting. Yeah. And then you lost I, my ketchup. I ate it. Mean... I ate it. Yeah. And I'm like, I like this. <laughs> yeah. It was on a Kaiser bun, too. So the ketchup kind of soaked up in the bread a little bit. Yeah. So, but it, you come because, here. Because I mean, they, okay, they make you, that. It's called the Lebanese. With mayonnaise, sandwich. that's the way I eat my sandwiches. Like, okay, that's fine. That's, that's fat boy style. Is, what is I call the, it. That's the king of condiments, bro. Of course. Besides Chick fil A sauce. I like that Polynesian sauce. Um. Anyways, Ko- Ko- I can't say this name. K o w a l o n e k. And I'm butchering this. Kowalnix Kobasi. Ooh. That's where I went to this past week in Shenandoah. And Shenandoah. So good. Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah River. <laughs> but I went up My there. Used to do it. I got me yeah. a couple rings. Did you? Uh, I got a meat platter, which was like 25 bucks, but it had every meat that they make in that freaking platter. Nice. And I bought some Kielbasa burgers. Kielbasa burgers. I never heard of that, burgers. but that sounds it's good. It's just a piece of Kielbasa baloney. Uh, thick it's thick thick cut and then you just put it on the grill <laughs> that's all it is but dude yeah. the flavor smoked that they it. had was good they, they are smoked and the flavor they had was so good they, they had some uh good cheeses mustards uh pierogies pierogi was so good. no well you got a smoker oh yeah i thought about buying they I, they had some unsmoked i thought about so you're so you gonna smoker. buy your uh you're gonna buy your brisket for next week brother you're going to do your uh, corned beef? Brisket? For what? You're going to do corned beef for uh, Pat- St. Patrick's Day. I probably won't do. I probably, I probably might. I'll probably cook a corned beef, but I won't smoke a corned beef. I heard it was really good to, to smoke. I just seen that today on, uh, I think, probably Facebook Watch. My wife has an Instant Pot. She'll put it in there. You're talking about Ooh. corned beef and cabbage? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's one of my favorite meals. I probably really? definitely will eat that, yeah. 
Uh, that's, that's I'm on a, a two-day sh- timeout from Facebook, by the way. Uh, Again. Uh, oh, because it was uh, I had commented on the Ronda Rousey thing, and it was she had said that um, she would have done the same thing Cain Velasquez did, but worse. Now Cain Velasquez shot at a pedof or a child molester or whatever. But I said, well, yeah, I would have too, but I would have made sure to shoot the right person, and they put me in jail for two days. Oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah. Uh oh, gotta get your patch out. Yep, Facebook repeat offender. <laughs> so. Then people, I swear, man, that's why. That's why I stay off of there. I I, I see more and more and more people every day <sighs> getting blocked and kicked off there for just no reason. Like my cousin the other day, like something popped up on her memories, and she didn't even share it, but she got put in Facebook jail because it just. Somehow came up in the algorithms. Um, I've had a smile from ear to ear for the past two weeks, just because everyone's complaining about gas prices. Ah, uh, yeah. Would everyone's complaining that? about gas prices. I'm like, well, you know, I I saw this coming. That's why back in June, we got myself an electric car, and now while you're paying three dollars a gallon, I'm paying three dollars to fill my whole car up. That's it. Yeah. For dude. the week. So. I, there, there's still the haters on there. There's still haters on there. That oh, are, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. They're like, oh, well, uh, well uh, you know, how many times you have to charge a week? Well, technically, I charge just, just because Tesla recommends I, I keep it plugged in. I was like, I don't have to. And the past couple of days, I haven't because it's been warm out. So I've, I haven't really used anything. And here coming up in the month of May, I think May or June, I'm yeah. getting solar put on my house. Nice. So then I will barely be paying any money for anything. <laughs> so, so like <clears throat> the revolution's coming when it comes to this. People are going to get tired of paying a large amount, large sums of money of their paycheck going into just putting gas in their vehicle Absolutely. to go make that paycheck. So it, the revolution's coming. You're going to see people buy these vehicles it, it, pretty soon. You're going to have to. Chevy's yeah. already said in 2025 they're done. They're not making any more gas. They're going to be fully electric cars that they're going to be producing. Mercedes said the same thing. Ford's turning over a new leaf. All the major companies are are getting there, and I hate to say I told you so. so I, said, I can't I, wait I, to I, find one. Find one affordable in my price range. I want. I'm get telling one. you, they what they need to do is bring them. If they bring them down to twenty two thousand dollars, people will buy them. Yeah, they'll eat them up. They'll be. They'll be. They'll be. They'll be Lines of people going out. Twenty two thousand. That's not too bad, man. It's like what three hundred dollar payment a month, something like that. We have a twenty four thousand dollar car for my wife right now, and I think we pay three hundred, four hundred dollars, something like that. Ain't bad at all. And, and she overpays because she's wants to pay it off early. So you know what I'm saying. So I, I think once they get down to like twenty two thousand, I think you're gonna see more more of the haters turn into lovers. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. People just. People are afraid of change. I think that's what's they love wrong. them gas guzzlers. I think that's what's wrong with our country. I think we're afraid of changing. Um, you see other countries like Norway, for instance. I'm telling you, I gotta send you this video that I watched about Norway, dude. Their charge structure that they have up there. You pull into a gas station, they have gas, of course, and they have charge stations. Like it's oh wow, the same amount of pumps that they have for gas is the same amount of charge stations they have for electric vehicles. Like electric EVs have been a thing over there. Like that's a thing. Wow. So yeah. So overseas, man. Overseas, we had all those wars. And uh, speaking of which, by the way, um, shout out to to Ukraine. Yeah, um, shout out to Ukraine. Yeah, for uh, sure. It, it sucks. With that uh, that that whole thing is stupid. Uh, yeah. You know, I've done a lot of research and been watching about everything. Vladimir H- Hitler over there. Yeah, Vladimir Hitler. <laughs> People are calling him Vladimir Trump, to be honest. Yeah, that too. <laughs> but um, that that's war stupid. And for this war Don, going Donald on over there is really yeah. stupid. I don't care if you're Russian and you're and you like, oh my God, thing when I hate you. Uh, well, go ahead and hate me. I don't care. You know, because that's it's all stupid. Innocent lives, innocent blood is being spilled for what? Because they want power or something. Agreed. You know, it's it's stupid. But speaking of wars, let's talk about our first movie. Let's talk about The King's Man. King's um, Man. What do you think about this? I'm interested in what you think because I've watched the other movies. I've a fan I've of the other movies. I was going to I was going to wear I have a shirt. I have actually have a Kingsman shirt. 
Um, I was going to wear that tonight, but uh, I decided to wear more Wicked Turtle stuff. But uh, what'd you think? What'd you think of The King's Man? Because you could dive into this this movie and not even watch the other ones and understand what that's Absolutely. all about. Because this is the start. So what did you say? So I jumped into this and I really uh, had no clue. I had watched, I had seen that there were these other movies and they looked good. But what got me was um, they did a crossover episode with um, Archer. So it was Archer and the Kingsman. So I watched that, the clips of that, and I'm like, you know what? This does look pretty good. So I turned that on, and yeah, I was I was really pleasantly surprised. This was a really fantastic one, a really good one. And um, so they're they're spies, like well, like soldiers at first that turn into spies or they're they do what the government doesn't technically have the balls to do okay, you know so saying? they're like special agents basic yes that's you you hit the nail on the head um pretty much a james bond situation but he's more this like was a prequel spy, to be huh? honest and it was yeah. very interesting to see the beginnings of of these movies you know, it was a great story. I, you know, I had really thought this. Sad. You know, this, this a lot was. Of sadness in it. I thought this was a um, build-up movie for the man's son. Yeah. You know, so I thought this really was, and then until that point in time, excuse me, spoiler alert, where you know that point where that point in the movie comes. Do we want to spoil that? Yeah, I mean it's. It's it is what it is. These movies are out now, but yeah, this, this, the sun passes away. You know, I mean, to get shot in the head. That was sad. It. That was super that, sad. That really irritated me because it was like, man, over a, this, something so simple. Like, yeah, I was rooting for him to be honest. I literally really jumped the gun. Yeah, I thought he, the I thought the whole movie was going to be about him. The, yeah, the sun being. But yeah, man, and it the main guy in this movie, boy, he took a beating throughout, didn't he? Especially yeah. towards the end there. Yeah. He took a beating emotionally, I thought. Hardcore. Yeah. I mean, it was it was sad at first, but the action got better with time. And that's yeah. what, if there's any downfall I can say about this movie, that was my problem with this. Because the, the other movies, full action. Ooh. All the time. Like, full action. Very violent. Very awesome. Very gentleman. Uh, but this one here, it, it took a lot of build up to get to the to get where we needed to go with it and at the end of the movie i was very happy with the ending i was too because i was like oh okay this is cool okay now we can go on like i really it really made me want to watch the other ones to be honest <laughs> i haven't watched them yet but it, re it really made me want to watch the other ones so i i like this movie a lot it, it, i'm a i'm a i wouldn't say i'm a fanboy but i'm definitely a fan of these movies yeah. Um, you have to watch the other ones. You would you would understand once once you say, oh yeah, now I get what the penguin's saying. Um, well, because... maybe I'll go watch them and add them to the uh, ever list of the ever growing list of uh, Monday Madness movies. Yeah, I mean they're they're good. I'm telling you, you yeah, won't be sure. you won't be uh, disappointed. Well, I honestly know? think you'd be surprised by my score. So yeah, I, I'm. What's your score? I didn't get your score. What was your score? We want to do scores right now. Yeah, go ahead. It's a ten. Oh, he movie. He threw a perfect out there. Nice. Yeah, yeah. It was I a mean, really good movie. Like that when he came up at the end there and cut that guy, cut that guy's head off. I'm like, this is a badass motherfucker right there. And right? that's how that's how the other movies are. The other movies really? are bad to the bone like that. I mean, I, I, I'll give you a little spoiler. In the first movie, she says something that's very racy. I, it's not racy, but she says to me, she goes, "If you save me, I'll let you fuck me in my asshole." Oh, jeez. <laughs> Good lord! Now in the deleted scene, it's so, it says something about let you bang me. In. I, I forget what it was said in, in in the in the clean version. Right. But the go that's why the second one's called the Golden Circle. Oh my god! <laughs> wow. <laughs> so there's like an Easter egg funny quip to that. There's a train. Oh, there we go. Yep. Dogs so and, and trains. Dogs, trains. And dogs and trains. Off here. Dogs, dogs and trains. And trains. <laughs> like like boats and hoves. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man, I it was a really good. Wow, and, I'm uh, surprised by that score with a ten. Good job. Yeah. Um, I know that it's, I know some people will be like, Well, here's the just throw tens around. I, I really had an, an enjoyable time watching it. Like it was a really good movie. 
Yeah, that's your fucking opinion. Who cares what other people say? Hell yeah. Like, <laughs> and it goes to show you, hey, um, you got to treat animals right, too. Because, you know, the guy there at the end, you know, you're um, not Ra- Rasputin was cool, too, man. We didn't even touch on the, the Rasputin. But, yeah, the goat, like, he, he the, took the goat's horn off. And you know what I mean? Who he, knew the Rasputin was such a boy toy? How about it? What the hell was that? All right. Right, I, I was like, I was like, and was wow. that like, is that like, um, do I want to say canon? Yeah, canon. But was like, is that a true story? Like that, um, I don't. Rasputin so. would drug his people with, um, what was it, morphine or something like that? Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't, I don't know the, I don't know the whole deets with Rasputin, but me either. That was a very cool scene. That was, was a cool. A scene, very cool yeah. scene. Besides him, like taking off his pants and shit like that. Oh yeah. But, but it was a very like cool that was scene. weird. Yeah. And it was yeah, really yeah, cool for I the like sun, that. too. I like the sun in that in that scene, too. So you would uh, t- take a bullet for me, but not jump out of a helicopter for me. <laughs> See, my score for this, I'm going to go just a tad bit low. I'm going to go 9-5. Um, only because it took a little bit for it to, to get yeah. up to the where my standards when it comes to the Kingsman. Because you jumped into it a different way, you know what I mean? I wasn't yeah. expecting... I was expecting like James Bond stuff, you know. Yeah. I mean? You were expecting it to full go well, full board. The first two are kind of like James Bondish, so okay. yeah. So it, this here, this is the beginning. This is the prequel movie. Is what it is. It's See, I was always a Mission Impossible dude. Origins. If you want to say anything, it's an Origins movie. Yeah, that certainly makes sense. But definitely one to see. You know, it's it's on it's on HBO Max right now. If you have HBO Max, and I wish I would could give you a code. That's hints to HBO. Giving. HBO, yeah. Yeah, well, man, give it little, we're, we're little, always yeah, we we're give always on your stuff, man. Yeah, so. we're always, we don't give we don't give a lot of downers for you. We we always know you guys have a bunch of bangers in there. The so, only yeah. one was like what malignant. <laughs> I just watched uh um um oh, Rick and Morty. I just watched. I just finished oh, good, watching good. all that at season season four, season five. Yeah, another good season. Is so it I'm uncensored sure. yet on uh, HBO? I like to wait until it's uncensored. I think it is. I think it is. Some I, I people know. think it's funnier to get the bleeps. It's been like a week or so since I watched it, so I don't know. Yeah, some people think it's funnier to get the bleeps. I think it's funnier to get the whole <laughs> the razzmatazz. I like to hear them swear, so. I think they might. I, I think wait. They, I think it is uncensored. You might I wait. So. But. I, yeah, I think we should watch uh, Lighthouse, too. That's a really good looking one. Hmm. Funny. All right. Well, let's talk funny, about but... let's talk about the next one. Uh, you guys, uh, if you guys are watching us right now, you see all the blood splatters. Yeah. Uh, the next movie we're going to talk about pays homage to that. Uh, we're, we watched Nobody. Yeah, man, Bob Odenkirk. Yeah. Um, the Duke put me onto this one. We had another one lined up. I didn't. I was like, eh. I watched a little bit. I'm like, eh, I don't know about this one. Yeah. Then I was like, you know what? He's like, well, I'm gonna watch Nobody for Monday Man. It's like, well, you know what? Maybe let's put this on what a peach because I really want to watch this movie. Yeah. I remember. Man. I remember when this came out, and I was like, oh man, I really want to watch this movie. I watched it, and dude, I was. Yeah, I this, liked it. Yeah. A lot this of is action. On a, yeah. It started off with action right off the bat. Like as soon as the, the movie started, it was full of action. Yeah, and, he gets his house robbed. And... Oh my gosh! But he had he had a secret life, and it was yeah. just it was because everybody crazy. thought he was like this poor like putz that just let these guys walk in, and he was like, actually, no, um, you know, I was actually saving their lives because it was like I didn't really. Do my favorite are... scene of this movie was when um, they they showed the montage of him waking up, missing the trash truck, the next day clocking in, going to work. Yeah, you, you, uh, like. Showing him be like this normal guy, basically a nobody. Yeah. Um, you know, just this normal guy going back and forth, doesn't basically doesn't bang his wife. Nothing yep. like that. Like he was just a he's a fucking loser. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Eh? He's more like he was a middle aged loser, you know? Pretty much. And, and it was like Yeah. I, I, at first I'm like, man, this is weird because through the posters, the previews, and stuff like that, it this is mad bloody, like it's mad gory. Is it's I wouldn't say super gory, like like a horror movie type gory. Right. But it was there's a lot of blood, a lot of kind of like equalizer kind of like stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and it got this. This was like a fine wine. It got better with age. It really oh, did. for sure. It really did. By the end of the movie, he was like, wow. <laughs> yeah. What's your thoughts? I'm sorry. What's your thoughts on this? What? Because this is basically this is the Duke's pick. I mean, he got me onto this. So, yeah, um, I seen it on Peacock. 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 And I was like, yeah, Peacock. Yeah. 
I was like, yeah, you know what, you know. And um, Peacock, I, I like it. I like their uh, app. It really works well. And you'll go figure with the uh, Xfinity stuff. You know, I mean, it you works watch best. this on Peacock? Yeah, really. I, I watched sure mine did. on H. They had it on HBO Max. Oh, good shit. That's where yeah. I watched mine. At. Yeah, but yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. I really thought it was a good, good action movie. It's weird that the actor, who's the actor in this again? Bob Odenkirk. Odenkirk. Yeah, that's Odenkirk. the guy from Better Call Saul. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he has, he's more of a mild actor. He doesn't do a lot of, like, right. this type and of especially stuff. Especially if, like, if you watch, but, like, um, you know, um, Breaking Bad and you watch Better Call Saul, you know, you've seen him as that guy who, I love that you know, show. kind of skirts away from trouble more often. And, you know what I mean? But uh, this is kind of like, it, it kind of like after, all that Breaking Bad stuff kind of broke him, and it's like, if you imagine that as the same universe, it's like, man, now he's off full board, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's... It was cool watch. He's very, cool he's watch. very like, nonchalant type actor. Like, yeah. He doesn't do a lot of, like, these type of roles, and it was interesting to see I seen this, this movie. I seen this movie, and then, um, you know that there's, uh, rumors going around that, um, in the multiverse of madness, we're going to get a uh, Ghost Rider variant, the old uh, Nicolas Cage Ghost Rider. Yeah. And, you know, just the way that, you know, he was so crazy in this movie, Bob Odenkirk, that is, it got me to thinking, like, if they did a Ghost Rider series, I want Bob Odenkirk to be Ghost Rider. I know that's a crazy thought, but think about that, man. Yeah, I think he's a little too old for the character. Like he, he could be good for like the father figure. So. I mean, just knowing the track record of how they how they hire, like Marvel. They, yeah, they probably, probably would make, do a younger they would, guy. Yeah, they probably want somebody younger and somebody who's hip right now. You know, yeah. I'm trying to think who who could do that and be really cool doing that. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know who they would. Be. Uh, I'm just thinking. I, I can't. I was gonna. I was just thinking like Jason Momoa, but Jason Momoa is Aquaman. You can't really take him out of that role, right? Yeah. Uh, Ryan Reynolds does a really good Deadpool. Everything, yeah. You definitely can't take him out of that role. I'm just trying to think who who would do that. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, man. I don't know. Sorry, my dogs are flipping. I mean, out. Dolph Lundgren would be somebody that'd be cool in that, but. He's well, old. If you're talking age, he's, he's old. Than Bob yeah. Kirk. Yeah. I don't Might know. Might as well say Danny Trejo. <laughs> That'd be sweet too, though. Danny Trejo. That'd be. I am really sweet. <laughs> Who are we talking about again? <laughs> Ghost Rider. I am Machete. Ghost Rider. <laughs> That'd be cool, man. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, but either Bob Rodenkirk or Danny Trejo for the Ghost Rider. I don't know. I don't know. It's just, that's tough. That's really tough. We got to think um, most of the time it's going to be a, a flaming skull anyway, so. That's true, but when they're not, when he's not flamed on, you know? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think who would be good in that role. That's that's a good, that was a good one. That's a good, uh, that's a good one right there, man. Yeah, because like I said, I mean, the, the Multiverse of Madness stuff, that's all variants, you know what I mean? And maybe that could be the character going forward, but um, it's not necessarily the the current universe. I, if it wasn't oh my for goodness the, gracious. If it wasn't for the Batman, I would have said Pattinson would have been good in this role, too. Yeah. Um, I heard that was fantastic. I can't wait to jump into that. Ooh, this isn't a bad idea. Zac Efron. What do you think about him being in this role as as that? Yeah. That wouldn't be bad. I'd be okay with Zach Efron. They say the same thing, of, you know, they probably could have they'll probably criticize him the same way they would criticize um Pattinson from being Batman. Like he probably could I can't do that serious, you know. I could see also um Brutus! And I could see also instead of that maybe making it a, a um what am I trying to say here? Um, instead of it being a, a white actor, we could do a black actor. Yeah, you no. Know, um, the guy who played um the Star Trooper in uh, Star Wars. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Bo- 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 Bonina, or I think it's, I forget what's Kate. I forget. I, it's Bo- John Bo- Boy Boyega. Boyega. Boy- John Boyega. Boyega. Yeah, that he did good for that. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing him in something like that. I think yeah. he's a great actor. I liked him in the Star Wars movies. I yeah, dude, I like awesome. Finn. I like Finn. Finn, right? Yeah, yeah, he played Finn. Yeah, I get Finn, Finn and Poe mixed up. He was one of my favorite up. characters. I th- yeah. I could see him do that. Yeah, I, I thought they were going to go for. I could even him. see Poe. You were talking, just talking about Poe. I could even see Poe doing it too. Oh yeah, dude, that'd be cool too. Yeah. So, um, do we give do we give a rating? Rating. I no, had. We yeah. didn't. Go ahead. I'd give this a solid eight and a half. Eight and a half. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to agree. I was I was that's where I was hovering. I was hovering around eight to an eight and a half. Um, I'll, I'll do eight. I'll do an eight eight point oh. Uh, this. It's good. It's good. I like it. Yeah. It's very action packed. It's been a while since I've seen a action packed movie, you know, like this. So I, I, I'll give it to it. it it's yeah. a good watch. It definitely is, and it's definitely something I would rewatch. So for sure. All right, let's get into some promotions. Who are you promoting this week? Well, first of all, yeah, I'm going to promote some uh, Smart Mark Alley. Um, Go check them guys. Check check us out. Check us guys out. Um, Facebook, Twitter, we're all over the place there. Um, we got some cool stuff coming up. Um, I might cover the uh, last two pay per views, the AEW one and the Impact one with Kevin here very soon. Sting so. match was great. Brother. Oh my god, dude! You seen some of that? Yeah, Sting match was good. Oh my god, mine. William Regal popping. William Regal. Yeah. I kind of kind of expected Kenny Omega at the end, but I'm glad they're saving it. Yeah, the Sting match was pretty good. It sucks. That and I kind of match... expected Jeff Hardy too, but um, how about I guess how about uh, CM Punk coming out in his old Ring of Honor? Oh my period. god, dude, tears! That was yeah. cool. The only way that would have been better for me is I wasn't, I didn't like, um, I wasn't there watching when that Ring of Honor stuff happened. But for me, this Fire Burns would have been the the perfect song, man. But I get, yeah, I mean, with the tape library, with him coming out for the Ring of Honor stuff, so cool. But yeah, one more promotion is Switch Force on YouTube. He does a lot of uh, Nintendo Switch videos and stuff like that, and he's really uh, informed. He doesn't do a lot of the bullshit and rumor-mongering stuff, and it's a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. Uh, My promotions this week, um, again, I just, I really don't want to promote anybody else anymore. (laughs) <laughs> promote wicked turtle that's what that's, yeah. that's, my, that's my whole thing uh a uh, couple things uh, i'll tell people to uh buy some rays again yep. link will be in the description of, of this cast uh go uh click the link tree at the end in, in this cast you, know, you can find some of this awesome merch that i have on here like are you totally enough for the turtle club yeah um get one to get this shirt this is a good shirt i like this shirt um we also I'd have like the to pillows couple- back air the pillows back air so one of these days we're gonna get some Duke Dive shirts on there too, because I like. Yeah, that. I gotta work on it. I was, I, I keep saying that all the time, but I'm gonna have some time here, um, soon because we'll we'll discuss that here right after promotions. Good shit, man. But um, yeah, I'd yeah, like to have some of them to Wicked Turtle sell at, Excuse me, I'd like to have a couple of them to sell at the upcoming shows. The shows if yeah. I go to, yeah. You have to get some of those made. Yeah, dude. That's the problem. I mean, and we got a cricket. I gotta get you a card. I get you get yeah. you cards. You get your cards, and people can scan the cards. And yeah, can... we. I definitely need some business. I have the cards. stickers. I have the stickers, so I'll have to get you some stickers. We'll have to make a special trip up. To I you. was gonna give one to Kevin, but I only have like an extra one or two. Yeah, so I, I, I have a whole. I still have the whole bag. So good. So yeah, I'm gonna give but one to Kevin and that. Check out, check out the merch. Yeah, it's good merch. It's good stuff. That I've I've had this shirt a couple of years now. It's really nice. Um, of course, if you're fans of the show, you've seen me. I always drink out of the, uh, of the what up peeps cup. Yeah. Um, of course we have the slam jam of lamb back here and, and, you Soon know, you come back. Soon we have some back. good stuff. It's good. It's, it's, it's a little pricey. I get it. I, it's a lot of people yeah. like, I can't buy this a little price. It's 20 bucks for a shirt. I get that $30 for a sweatshirt. It, yeah. But it helps out the channel. The rays. Yeah. I always tell people just buy some rays cause this stuff's delicious. It's not that it's inexpensive. Yeah. And it helped out the channel too. And they finally so, got a PayPal option. Yeah, PayPal option. There you go. See? And yeah. this helps out the channel when you buy some rays. So you use a link, it helps us out. Yeah. But um, you know, or if you guys don't want to spend any money, you could just hit subscribe. That's all you have yeah. to do or follow on Facebook. Leave a comment. 
Leave a comment, subscribe, give us some thumbs ups, give us some of those little Share smiley face things that comes. Yeah. Comment shit emoji if you didn't like it. I don't care. Yeah. Just, just, just like something. the video. <laughs> okay. Just something. Yeah. You know, just leave a comment. Uh, hit the notification bell. Da ding 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 ding. Ding ding ding. If you're on YouTube, this way you can uh, keep up with what we're doing. Yeah, man. We got some things coming up, and I'm going to talk about that right now. The next episode of What Up Peeps will be the last episode of the season. It'll be the season finale. Uh, we're going to watch The Batman, and uh, we're going to get our. Uh, Two cents, and we might even have the coach on for that. We'll we'll talk to the yeah. coach about coming on. Uh, but it'll be the season finale of What Up Peeps. We'll be out till May sixth. I know there's two movies that are coming out that we should cover: Morbius and uh, Sonic Two. But we'll we'll probably we'll get those in the long run. Yeah. But movie season starts up in May, so uh, we're gonna. That's May sixth is when the um, Doctor Strange. Madness, Multiverse of Madness is coming out. Mm -hmm. That'll be the first thing that we review for What Up Peeps for season six. Mm -hmm. We have a new song that's coming up. Love that. For for, for the What Up Peeps. I just uh, let, had the Duke listen to it before we went on air. Um, it, it was composed and written and designed by the maestro. Yes, uh, nice. I'll put his links actually in 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 the in the shout outs too for you guys, so you guys can. Uh, Am I allowed to say that it's like a kind of like a chip tune vibe? If you like chip tune music, you'll uh, know, you'll what like. What is a chip tune? What is it? Like a video game kind of like arcadey music. Oh yeah, like, because yeah. you know we deal with movies, video, games, video games, all yeah. that stuff. We talk about this on the show. We talk about movies, video so, games, TV so shows. So that's basically like the, a chip tune song. It's yeah, really cool. I really That's like, like an eight bit vibe. I like. Yes, That's yes. What I get from it. like an eight bit vibe. It's really cool. It's pretty cool. And I'm going to be putting some uh, graphics to it so you guys can see a, a whole new intro and a whole new outro. So we'll have all new intros and outros for the new season. Hells yeah. And, uh, that's it. That's about it. I mean, uh, we're going to take a little break for about a month or so. And, uh, we will see. We're, we'll have one more show, The Batman. We're going to watch, we're going to watch The Batman. And I'm excited because it's yeah. My, it's probably my favorite superhero Mine too. Uh, so i'm excited to see that um everyone's talking about it. i've been really trying to stay offline and not yeah me too these reviews because i really want to have my own opinion on this but uh yeah that'll yeah be I, well, I ended up you know just letting stuff go in the background and i ended up like a quarter of the way through um what's the guy that we usually watch the completist not the complete you know who i'm talking about that does the cut the uh, Real deep dives on the comic book movies. Oh, uh, you're talking about um, you're talking about uh, new rock star. Yeah, new rock stars. I was like yeah. a quarter of the way through it before I realized he. Oh shit, he's reviewing the new Batman movie. Yeah, turn that <laughs> off. Turn it off right now. I don't. No, yeah. no, no, no. I don't even want nothing. I want to go in there completely <laughs> blind. It's just me getting my ass to a movie theater to actually watch. Yeah, the me Batman. too, man. That's the biggest thing. So if we don't see an episode next week or the week, we'll definitely have one by the week after. It's yeah. all about either money and getting to the movie theater. But, uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys' patience with us when it comes to, you know, we've had sicknesses and not broken feeling hands. well and broken hands and people running into my car. And it's, it's just been a, just a lot of bullshit in the past couple months. Yeah. But I I appreciate everybody hanging in, hanging on for the ride. And uh, the yeah. next, like I said, the next, the next episode is the last one for the season or season five. Yeah. And we'll pick it back up in May, uh, first first week in May, and then, uh, like I said, we we will be missing out on Morbius and um, and Sonic too. But again, yeah. like and, me, uh, for, no, the, for the Duke's dive, yeah, uh, I'll probably be making a uh, audio track tonight, and then the coach and I are going to get together on Sunday. Yeah. So, and we'll we'll do some uh, NXT Roadblock is coming up, and um, of course here, you know, coming up in the beginning of April, we want to have you on there. Uh, Penguin, we're gonna oh, do yeah, some WrestleMania, WrestleMania stuff. Yeah. So we'll WrestleMania. you'll see us. We're, we're around. I mean, I, I, and that's one thing I didn't say. Uh, I, I encourage everybody to follow the Duke's dive. Or watch yes, the sir. Duke's dive. Uh, if, if, if you miss and Coach Penguin, Raff too. The Penguin's still there. He's the guy in the chair now. He's in the yes. background. I put up all the graphics and stuff like that, so you don't really see me that much. But I'm still there and I'm producing the show. And we're on the same format now, which I really enjoy. We're, we're a conversation now, so. Yeah, it's it's been a really good flow. It really has. It's good yeah. flow. It's good stuff. And it's not just 
ups and downs all the time. There's the that's just like this show where they ba- like the Duke does his yeah. Now that we got and then a, he has some sort of conversation, you know. It's yeah. Now that cool. we're we're a conversation, we're we're working on different things. Like last time we had uh, Cesaro, we spoke a lot about Cesaro. So yeah, I actually learned some stuff about Cesaro. I didn't even know. Really? Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> that's good shit, man. Cool. Yeah, but uh, no, I, I I encourage. We also have other projects in the works. I have Wicked Troll Spotlight. I'm still working on that. That'll be in the projects. So yeah. you will see that it's. It's not just we're giving we'll up. We'll have to get together peeps. and do a Penguins Eats too, because I know we had the McDonald's stuff lined up, and I had uh, kind of ruined that. I was supposed to do it, and I was like, I didn't get to the McDonald's, mm. and I was like, I'm sorry, by the hack shit was gross. Mm. Yeah, it wasn't that good. <laughs> it was okay. Really, that's just the way I eat my McDonald's. It was. It tastes like fish. That's all it tastes like for me. I was oh, like, I, yeah, I, I wouldn't like even. Inter- I wouldn't have inter- even have entertained <laughs> that. I'm sorry, but yeah, like I scrapped it. I watched it. I scrapped it. I'm like the eh, double cheeseburger. Really like the double cheeseburger with the chicken nuggets. That's usually how I eat it because it's two that's, for four. Let's be honest. So. That's just a made up version of the McGangbang. Yeah, I said that to you too. Like, come on now, that you're gonna do the hacks and not even have a McGangbang. A freaking yeah. double cheeseburger. Because they can't say sandwich. they can't say McGangbang as well. Of course, yeah, of course. They but they could have can- called it something else. They could have. They would get canceled. That's what they would get. They would get canceled if they say McGangbang. McGangbanger. Oh, but they could have came Lord. up with something, McBarnyard or something. They would have called it something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> McKnight. <laughs> yeah. The Mick eat it and shut up. <laughs> yeah, the Mick eat it and then shit your pants later. <laughs> Put a McRib on that. I fish did actually. I, I almost Mac did a review the other day. I actually had the new Taco Bell. Uh, was it the new Fire? What's that Fire shit? Fire. What's the shit that all the kids eat nowadays? Fire uh, hot or hot? Flaming hot. Flaming hot. There it is. I did the new Flaming Hot Ranch Cool Ranch Dorito Taco. Oh, you should have reviewed that. Right there. I like it. I've had it multiple times. <laughs> oh, wow. I like I it wanna, a lot. <laughs> I want to review the uh, Honey Hot Chicken Sandwich from Just um, had that tonight Wendy's. when I texted you and said I'm eating. Guess what? Was I it was good? Eating. Was okay. It good? It's a little spicy. It's a little spicy. Yeah, if you had a problem with that one spicy sandwich, that one spicy sandwich we were I don't... talking about. <laughs> I just went down the wrong pipe. You was like, really woo! I'm not really <laughs> that bad. Then I put some sound effects in there. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Those were fun reviews. <laughs> I love doing that kind of stuff, man. But That's no, kind of... getting back to what we were saying, we're still going to be here. We're still doing stuff. We still have the dive. Yep. We still have Penguin Eats. Uh, maybe I'll throw Cooks in there. We'll see. I've been trying to figure out what I want to do here. Yeah. Because the one thing that I'm really trying to do is trying to get back to content that I just want to do. Like, yeah, I want to get back to content where I don't have to worry about. I mean, I have your schedule, but that's about it. I'd rather be on my, your schedule. But yeah. what, what a piece. What a piece will return in May. Come, su- come summer, we're going to be, be doing a lot of stuff. Maybe even some in-person stuff. So well, I, I, know I, I know I do want to. If, I, if there's one new show I want to jumpstart, it's either Spotlight or On the Road. So Yeah. I have I have a, a, a an idea for a show called On the Road where I just and it's a lot of stuff. You, you, a lot of my ideas I get off of YouTube, and yeah. I watch these videos where people do these videos of traveling and they tape B rolls and then roll, driving and get where they're going. They show the beautiful sights and stuff like that. And All I, right. I kind of want to do that. Like I think it's kind of cool. Yeah, I like to travel in the summertime. I'm very busy in the summer. Yeah, dude. So you, you come know. up our way, like I said. I and love I'll come it up down there. Your way. Gorgeous up there. Yeah, you'll come down here and I'll get you 20 pounds heavier. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> Lebanon, <laughs> Lebanon bologna. Not just that. There's Spanish food. There's Ooh. all kinds of hardies. <laughs> oh, I never had hardies. Really? <laughs> you definitely have to make that trip then. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, don't, I want to. I'd have the old commercials <laughs> with Carousel. You never had hardies. Come on, man. Hardies Does is she great. rub them sandwiches on her? Probably my third best chicken sandwich I like. Just really? Nice. Yeah, they make they make them just. I had a ch- oh, I gotta tell you about that. I had a chicken finally. Really? And I did you a, like it? I had a spicy chicken and yeah. I loved it. I thought it was awesome. Where do you rank that at? It's well in my chicken chicken sandwich rankings. Uh, Popeyes is there's still nobody can dethrone. The oh king yeah, of, dude. I, Popeyes I can't is wait. the king. Should They're the king month. of chicken sandwiches. Should really? This month. Yep. Yeah, get some of them fries too. Uh, and if you really like lemonade, they have good lemonade. Oh, really? And sweet tea. Um, 
What else? Uh, KFC is really good, but I- I'm going to have to put Burger King second, KFC third, and then Hardee's there right on – tied for third. Oh, wow. Well, where's McDonald's? McDonald's is like last, dude. They suck. I hate I like McDonald's their dollar chicken, chicken sandwiches. sandwiches. No, no, no. I like those. You're talking about the yeah. McChicken? Yeah. I like that. Their chicken sandwich? Their deluxe they're chicken do, sandwiches? Is yeah, terrible. No. What about Wendy's? Ah, uh, horrible too. I don't like, I like their, their, some of their deluxe. I don't like it their chicken on the... fillets. Their chicken fillets are rubber. It's the same as McDonald's. There's yeah, the, the unbreaded they're rubbery. ones. The they're unbreaded rubber. ones? Yeah, I don't, I don't eat the unbreaded ones, but they have, they did a, um, what they did, buttermilk one for a while there too. That was, that really was McDonald's. McDonald's did a buttermilk. Oh, okay, yeah, sandwich. you're right. That was okay, but again, still cannot hold the pants of of Popeyes. Popeyes just like has said, this dude, flavor that's that. so good, and it's so simple. It's, it's. I'll be it, going up to that bit every week on a weekly basis it, to get a Popeyes chicken sandwich. If McDonald's would just bring back the buttermilk chicken sandwich and do it the way people are making chicken sandwiches, yeah. then I could move them up on the list. If they would do it... The hot pickles, spicy one wasn't terrible. What was it? Two pickles, mayonnaise, on a, on a nice soft roll Brioche. with their buttermilk chicken recipe. Good. So it needs to but be... It's, it's it, dude. I tasted the 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 McDonald's premium chicken sandwich, and it tasted like shoe leather. Like it was horrible. Yeah, they might like as well it, have done the uh, the impossible. Watch when you eat when you eat a uh, Popeyes, you'll be like, "Yep, you're right. Yep, this is good." This I'm, like, I'm waiting, and I'm 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 expecting that to be my favorite. You, I really you go ain't. try a KFC one. It's just it's just as good. Now my my critique with that is, I don't want it extra cr- crispy. If they would have just made that original recipe, yeah. That thing would have been the bomb. No, I like the um the chicken is good though. The little um what do they call their little sandwiches at KFC. Oh my god. The chicken littles? Yeah, chicken littles, yep. That's just two chicken tenders on a spot of mine. Yeah. <laughs> They're good. The, the, yo, that's the yo, that's the stoner food, bro. Exactly. <laughs> that's, that's the dollar what, food. That's what you eat on the way home. You get, that's you get why... your bucket, you get your bucket and you eat your a little chicken little or two dude, on the that's way home. my fucking taco bell's hands down the king of munchy food oh my god dude yeah. your hands down the king like nobody like i just the other day i was i was hungry and i was like i oh, want a crunch wrap supreme man. it was a little late and yo dude yes so what i did was i just ordered some tacos yeah some, some tacos to the house and i'm like there nobody beats this like nobody nope. beats this like this is just when when you're like well, you've been drinking or maybe having some of that those that that delicious broccoli. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> for our, some for of that our bakery. Peeps, for our peeps who know that shit. <laughs> yeah, some of that bakery. Yes, Somebody sir. who 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 enjoys pine trees. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, um yeah, Taco Bell's the shit. They might give you the shit, but they are the shit. They're they are the most satisfying munchie you'll ever you'll. Oh, then nacho fries should be coming back any any time now. I'm not a fan of those. Really, I like them. I like. A and French usually, fry I'm not a seasoned French fry. I yeah. don't even like Wendy's new fries. I tried Wendy's new fries and I they taste like. Oh, dirt. they ruined them. They're so I don't terrible. Know what the fuck they did. They're horrible. They're horrible. They're not that good. They they just taste like the regular old anybody's. I'm fries. trying to think uh, like. Hands down, my favorite top two fries is Arby's, Curly's, and McDonald's. Yeah, that's yeah. it. I mean, but McDonald's, McDonald's, you gotta eat but McDonald's right one of the first five minutes. <laughs> then they become the shittiest fries we have ever eaten. <laughs> I like Burger Kings, honestly. They're okay because they're fluffy, right? You like the fluffy yeah. fry. Yeah. Remember, remember KFC wedges? Those were those were really good. I do like the French fries. I'm going to tell you the that much. The new French fries now. are pretty good. I and like them. Only because they have that fancy sauce that's good. Dude. That you can yeah. dip in. Other than that, I'd rather just have mashed potatoes and coleslaw. <laughs> and I'm not an instant potato guy at all, but yeah, they're not that bad. They actually have good stuff. I'm the ma- I'm they a macaroni. Have- I'm a macaroni and cheese guy, so I'm that's me. That's mac and cheese. Let's see. Okay, so a lot of people, a lot, a lot of people ask me about food. Um, so best mac and cheese on the planet, I would say, well, if you're going fast food, is and I hate to say it because they're such a shit company. Um, is Chick Fil A. They have such good mac and cheese. They're really good mac and cheese. I only had Chick Fil A once. Oh, uh, Chick Fil A mac and cheese is really good. If you want, I like Bob Evans. If mac you want something and cheese. that's cheap, a little bit cheaper than Chick Fil A, Arby's 
White Ooh. cheddar mac and cheese. Oh yeah, I've been meaning to try that. The bomb. I always forget about Argy, Arby's. My mom. Oh man, you can't forget Arby's. about Arby's. French fries are good. The roast beefs are good. Their chicken is so good. They have like chicken. They have gyros there, or gyros. Mm. So good. Like Arby's, hands down, is like they're. If I can, if I wasn't so lazy to drive to Arby's, I would because that's a drive for me. Mm. I'd probably drive there all the time. Like I would go there a lot and drive to go to Arby's. But McDonald's is right down the road. Wendy's is right across the street from my house. And I have so much fattening food. It's like right, right, literally walking distance from where I live. Right. I here, Here's one thing. If there's one thing that I, we're talking about food right now, if there's one thing that I want that I want to see within the next month or so, I want those fucking Mountain Dew alcoholic drinks. Oh, yeah, like, dude. I've been seeing them all over the place. But they're not in our state yet, and dude, you got to roll them out nationwide, bro. Because I'll buy them. I'll buy those. Those look good, and they're sugar free. There's zero That's sugar. What... Oh, really? Yeah. Guess what I found? What? Pillsbury has a um like a ready to bake fucking Dunkaroos. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, <laughs> with the frosting. Too. Oh yes, I bought the frosting too. <laughs> One of these I, nights, I'm, I'm telling you, I want that. that. I want that Baja Blast, yeah, uh, sugar free, zero sugar, alcoholic one. I want that. Oh, that's I want cool. That bad. Baja, bad blast. Have you seen any of those? The I've seen pictures. Not in Ford person. Sodas or some shit like that. Yeah, they look so good. So good. The black. They have black cherry. I oh. I drink that. They have watermelon. They have original, and they have Baja Blast. I want to try the original and Baja And that's Blast. what makes me for Taco Bell right there. I, I uh, My order always has to have a large Baja, Baja, Baja Blast Zero. Yeah. Because that, hands down, is the best. I like the watermelon one when it comes to Mountain Dew, but I love the Baja Blast Mountain. I think that is the tits. I don't like Southern, the Sweet Lightning from KFC. That shit's gross. That's like drinking a sugar bomb. Yeah. <laughs> that shit's gross. <laughs> I like the one at Sam's Club. What's that? I think it's a I forget. What's a wild one. lightning or something like that? Or yeah, it says it's a, yeah, it's a it's a like a blackberry lemonade. Yeah. <laughs> and then the one at um Sheets is good too. That's a blueberry. The spark. I've I've Spark. Drank, I, I think I might even still have that can over there. I had no, where where is it? No, I threw that bag away, but I, I, I drank some of that. It's it's okay. I'm not into lemonade. I, lemonade is not my favorite flavor. Like, I'll, if it's there, I'll eh, okay. I'll put it in a cup. But I'm not into lemonade. I'm not a lemonade drinker, and that's what they were trying to like market that towards, like them lemonade drinkers. Yeah. Eh, you see right. the the, the uh, commercial with Charlie Day. What? The the Spark commercial with Charlie Day. Uh. Uh-uh. Oh my God, that's funny. I sent send it to you after. I skip a lot of commercials. <laughs> <laughs> I skip a lot. I tape all my shows and skip all my commercials. Yeah, but um, now all right, we got off the get off the hinge. We we're talking about food. We can always yeah. I should have a food podcast. We should. Oh, Penguin eats the podcast. Yep. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm ready tomorrow. Yeah, right. We all go and we and we dissect the chicken. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready you, for have that you ever one. seen one of them made? No. Yeah, I seen a behind the scene. Well, we got a couple. I see. I seen behind the scenes how that thing is made. That's why I was interested in eating it because it's almost like how Popeyes does theirs. Popeyes they marinate their chicken in um, pickle juice. Yeah, that's how they make the chicken sandwich, and it's it comes out juicy and thick. I mean, mm-hmm. huge. And the chicken looks like it was filled with steroids. <laughs> like that yeah. thing is huge. But I saw it. They probably they a lot hand, of hormones. They hand batter that 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 piece of chicken. Like that's hand battered per order. Yeah. That's why I was like, okay, yeah, I'm down. And that's why McDonald's can't beat them because that that frozen that's frozen. I'm sorry. It Absolutely. was rubbery, it's gross, it's not it's not fresh. Tyson. Yeah. No, it's just no, I don't know what it is. It's it's just frozen. Bang. It's gross. You can tell you can taste it and tell it. Get, buy one, dude, and try it. I don't know if you've ever tried those. What well, one? The the McDonald's chicken sandwiches. I mean, I, I only eat the dollar ones. They try. They try, trust me, because they have the the the. Wrapping. I tried the hot and spicy chicken the sandwich. Ra- well, I I didn't even put Chick Fil A up there. Chick Fil A is up there too with with really good chicken sandwiches. I just don't met met. 
I just don't message them or, or I don't fuck with them because they have a lot of negative press and they're kind of yeah. like they're kind of like dicks, you know. <laughs> There's a lot of fans yeah. out there, and we'll probably get backlash for me saying that, but still, I buy their sauce. Dicks. I buy their sauce backhand through Walmart so they don't make a dime from me. That's what I do. <laughs> That's because exactly I like the Polynesian sauce. The Polynesian sauce is really good. The Polynesian sauce is like what sweet and sour almost, like right? Yeah. I had it so before. I go, I go get my stock up my sauce. I get the Polynesian. And because of you, I buy the yum yum sauce from my um, lo mein. Oh, my God. I love the yum yum sauce. And you got to get Mike's Hot Honey while you're at Walmart, too. I have not found that at my Walmart. But Are you serious? Waiting. Not Hot Honey. It's every Walmart around here. I've seen it. Really? You have, yeah, to, buy I, me, you have to get a bottle off the... I just bought off of Amazon Pizza Squeeze, the Pizza Squeeze oh, sauce. Oh, shit. Yeah, because yeah, one of my favorite uh, TikTokers... Uh, I forget his name, Chibs or Chibs, Chibs or S or something like that. He 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 always talks about Chays, like the um, oh yeah, Potter's Chays. Oh shit! Uh, yeah, I'll have to send you the hit, that, that dude's link. But he uses the pizza squeeze. He calls it with the Italian toothpaste. Oh shit! <laughs> it's 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 pizza sauce in a jar in a, in a squeezable like Ooh. container. It's really good. I make pizza sandwiches all the time with it because I get the turkey pepperoni and mm. then I get two slices of bread, which is my low carb bread, my, the 647. Uh-huh. Uh, and then I put the pizza squeeze down and uh, cheese over top, nice. pepperoni, and then put a, another piece of bread on it and then stick it in the air fryer, our air our air fryer that we mean you both have. Admiral. Yeah, and yeah. then it comes out all toasty and melty, and uh, just, it's it's good. It's really you really have to good. send me a recipe for that because I'm going to try. I'll that. just show it to you. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's really easy to make. But anyways, we really need to do a whole what? episode of food. What a podcast! Uh, yeah. uh, 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 an audio podcast only of of penguin eats. Where we sit yeah, because I mean, come on, food. we're. We're hefty. We're hefty, dude. They don't need to see our face. I can talk we're, about we're... the history of food. Like, that's one of my favorite TV shows. Let's do it. I'd like, even if it's just a once a month, once a once in a blue moon thing, I think yeah. it'd be fun. <laughs> the history of the chicken sandwich. Oh, dude, yeah. <laughs> we could just call it the history of stuff. I was just saying today that um the, one of the local cheesesteak places called Humpty Dumpty, they're going to start doing their cheesesteaks with Cooper Sharp. They said that oh. that's a Philly thing. I said I didn't realize that was a Cooper Philly thing. Cooper Sharp cheese is good. Oh. That's good. Cooper cheese is my. I favorite. spend the extra money for Cooper Sharp cheese. Oh, I would too, yeah. dude. So oh, that's man. my munchy cheese. That's the guy. Who, dude, I'm a cheese. I'm a meat and cheese connoisseur, dude. Oh, so yeah. at nighttime, and I'm like watching a TV show. Like right now, I've been watching a uh, uh, Below Deck on on, on Peacock. It's, it's it's about yachting. It's about like all that bougie yachting shit. Yeah. But it's it's sort of like Jersey Shore meets boats. So it, it, there's drama. And See, I'm a YouTube it. guy. I just I follow the H3 podcast. That's my uh, entertainment outside of wrestling and my movies. But I I've been doing the whole munching the meats and the cheeses while oh, man, that. yeah. that's like my thing. But uh, no, I could totally do a podcast on history of stuff. Like that's my thing. I love that stuff. Like, I think that's oh, I think that'd be fun. A lot of interest, like the history of KFC. Would you want on Pizza Week cool too? The history of Hershey's chocolate. Oh, for sure. That'd be cool. The history of pizza. That's a big mystery. Yeah. A lot of people don't know where that came from. Like A lot of people say, okay, it comes from idiot, it, um, Italy. But yeah. where at in Italy? There's, yeah. different, there's different regions in Italy that do different kinds of pizzas. One does one with a completely white sauce and, yep. like, and artichokes on it. You know, like, you know, so some yeah, people like some cheese. people's the pizzas in Italy look completely different than the pizzas we have here. I almost uh, one more thing, but before before we get off here, I, I another thing I had to tell strange you. eats. Yeah. <laughs> I love strange eats. Wicked turtle eats. I, I I could come up with something with this. Man. That'd be great. <laughs> you just gotta find two foodies. Like I'm a foodie, so like I I love food. Like I, I love not <laughs> yeah, just dude. eating food, but the history of food. You know, like all across the world. I love world foods, world foods. Like eating stuff from all around the world. I've had. Foods from Africa. I've had foods oh, from sweet. Egypt. I've had foods from India. I've had. We foods could definitely from do like a like a Japan. Pennsylvania Dutch Pennsylvania Dutch foods. That's where I live at. You know yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. That'd be a great <laughs> episode for us. That's, yo, 
We gotta Every, turn their world on to the world. Everybody's the doing the cakesters thing on TikTok right now, like the Oreo cakesters. Oh, dude! I, I eat tell so pe- many of them. Fuckers. You know what I tell people? Those are fucking whoopie pies. They're whoopie pies. Yeah, they are. That's all. Drier they are. whoopie pies. Man. Yeah, yeah, they're dry whoopie pies. That's exactly what they are. And the little David, the little Debbie fruit pies. Those are fucking fry pies. Yeah, fry pies. Yeah. I tell so, people that all the time. Well, we need show. to turn the world on to Pennsylvania, the world of Pennsylvania Dutch food. Yeah, what the thing, you know, a lot of people make. are getting Wawa's and saying, oh, man, what's this Wawa store? That's Scrapple. We, we've had that shit here forever. Scrapple. <laughs> Mush. Dude, Scrapple is the shit. I don't care what anybody says. I am a firm believer in Scrapple. I just had it Friday. Friday some cheese Saturday, and some Friday, maple Friday, syrup, Friday. some hot sauce. I just had it. I just had No, what I do is I do – um, and a lot of people, when you ask Pennsylvanians how they get how – they, how they order their Scrapple. Me, I like mine sweet since the breakfast. Yeah, food, I like. I, I so you do sweet. the maple syrup. I do syrup and butter on top with salt and pepper. Yeah, that's it. Because I, I, I like the salty, sweet little bit of little bit of spice from the pepper it hits through. And I it don't depends like on it, how I want it. I don't like, like it too like much. People with their grits, you know. What I, mean? I feel that scrapple is different in different regions. Yeah, like up your way, for instance. Like I was up there, eat, I ate scrapple up there. It's a little bit mushy. For my taste, yeah, it's, a, it's good. It all depends on how you cook. It's it. still good. It still tastes here, good. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit mushy down well, here. It's a little, people, it's a little well, bit more do, They love that mush too. Like down here, it, it's, you know, it's, have you ever had mush? No, what is mush? That's just it's just like scrapple, but it's uh, or is that meal. pudding? It's cornmeal. Because there's there's two different. There's scrapple and there's pudding. Pudding is like the creamier version of scrapple, basically. I yeah, don't ever no, want to is... make it. I don't ever want to make it because I've seen people make it, and if I ever help somebody make scrapple, I probably would never eat scrapple again because it's disgusting. Oh, me too. Yeah, my well, my aunt has it's a um, butcher. My, my yeah, I'm my good. aunt has a my aunt has an orchard, and um, she butchers her own pigs too. So Everybody she, makes, she makes it scrapple. differently. Everybody makes it differently. Like up your way, it, it's a little bit mushier. Down here, it's a little bit more firmer, and they fry on each side. But it gets mushy as you as you cook it. Mm-hmm. As you cook it, it gets mushy. But up there, it was like it was it was good. I'm not saying it wasn't good. Like it was delicious. I ate yeah. I ate the whole thing. I scraped that plate clean because I'm a huge fan of scrapple. Yeah, you know, and I think we could, I think we could probably do a podcast on food. We could. That would be easily. Fun. That would be fun. Like you said, like do something on some month. Pennsylvania Dutch, yeah. Or maybe every two weeks or something. I could totally do that. That'd be That's cool. Not, we would, that would give us research. We could do yeah, research. Yeah, just do stuff. an audio only thing. Because like I said, they don't need to watch us talk about food. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> no one would ever want to watch that. Like, guys breathing heavy talking about food. <sighs> God, I love <laughs> <laughs> This is why they tune in. This is why they tune in right here. Chicken. Chicken. Cheeseburger. Chopped cheese. French fries. <laughs> we'll probably be all in your oh my God. the audio format. Like, well, we don't need to turn the camera on. It's the band. When it comes out, you eat it, glitter, <laughs> sprinkles and shit. <laughs> the Chinese donuts? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. God that, yeah, that, that's a whole Dude, we can yeah. have a whole episode of the history of donuts in Pennsylvania. That's crazy. Yes. Have you ever seen, like, a Dutch donut, like a Pennsylvania Dutch donut down here? Like, they cook them in lard and stuff? Oh, my God, yeah. Yeah, there's a, there's a flea market up my way that does them. They're the so big- good. And the big peanut butter cream. ones. Yes, yeah. And that's something that you don't find too much of, especially after the pandemic, is peanut butter donuts. Like, oh yeah, it's like stuffed. Like, the yes, stuff. I like the stuffed ones. My favorite donut of all time. Well, my favorite place to get donuts is Krispy Kreme down in South. Down South, they have the best. Mm-hmm. There ain't nothing like a hot donut coming off the line. I'm sorry. Once you try one, it's like the greatest thing in the world. I've, like, I've heard so many people say that. You have to have one. Like, it, have you ever heard of duck donuts? I I have heard of duck donuts. Yeah, I've we have heard that they down. were really we good. We have two of them down here, actually. I have really? one in Hershey See, I and get one down in Lancaster. Your way. And they they're cake donuts. I'm not a big cake donut fan. I'm a oh, yeast I am. donut. I'm a yeast donut said guy. The sour cream. Yeah, well, they they make it 
like you can actually literally see your donut plop in the oil. They turn oh, wow. it a couple times. It goes down a conveyor belt. And then they put outrageous toppings on. Like I remember the watt, the kilowatt had a, a French toast one. Oh, that'd be so That's kind of cool. I always get the maple, the maple bacon. That's my favorite donut from there because I love bacon. And they put cornucopias piles of bacon on this donut. Like it's looks like I just had die. a donut like that that came from Wegmans, and everyone was like, "That's gross." I'm like, yeah, nope. That's what I was trying to get while we were segue segue talking about food. <sighs> Anyways, I went to Wegmans the other day, and I almost got a Duke special. I was, I was oh dude yeah i haven't gotten a hoagie from wegmans in a while that fucking sandwich Ooh, is yeah, delicious. we might have to do that soon that sandwich is delicious i did get a burger from them i went to the burger, burger bar i went to the burger bar there it's called the burger bar and dude they give you a sack not a box of fries a sack of french fries at wegmans yeah it's called the burger bar and their burgers are freshly made there Damn, and they're really that. good. Like I'm telling our fans, I'm a, a lot of our fans probably just tuned out. By the way, too fat to talk about fucking food. But anyways, if you guys ever go to Wegmans, sure. especially if you guys are in the local Pennsylvania area and you're living Lancaster area, go to Wegmans and try yeah. their hamburgers and cheeseburgers. Wegmans is just good all around. Wegmans delicious, is just delicious. And it wasn't that expensive. Like, it, well, it didn't cost me thirty bucks for two people, but yeah, that's not bad, though. I'm a, yeah, that's I, I took, bad. I took my client, and he likes bad, the he likes bad. the gorge. He's a gorger. I I paid for him this yeah, time because too. he was cool, and he likes the gorge. And he's like, oh, well, I don't have to pay for it, so I'll just you know I'll buy the most expensive burger with gold and shit, you know, right? Gold flakes. <laughs> yeah, whatever. So uh, my burger was only six bucks. I mean, it was six yeah. bucks, and then the fries was another uh, six, so like twelve dollars, and then plus you got to add a drink on it. It's probably another four. So there you go, like fifteen bucks. Boom. You know, yeah. but it was unlimited drinks and I could refill even when I walked out of the store. because We went shopping in the store, too. So when nice. I walked out, I refilled on some of the fused tea there and walked out. We just recently got um cheddar broccoli soup from from, from Wegmans. Wegmans. Yeah, uh, that, that, dude. Wegmans is, is the hands down the greatest. That's where I was last week when I texted you. I said, oh, man, it's I'm, the greatest I'm, store ever. It's so cool. Yeah. I got blue cheese from that. I, I'm a cheese. Like I said, oh. I'm, a, I'm a cheese. Oh, dude. they got so many fancy cheeses. At I got the milky blue cheese from Wegmans. It's the Wegmans brand. Yep. So good. Like, just so good. Like, I don't know how you feel on blue cheese, but I'm I a, I'm I'm a blue cheese fan. I like I to put some cheese. crumbles in my uh, buffalo chicken dip, but other than that. I, I, I eat it straight out of the bag. <laughs> like, it's nice. Yeah, I eat that green shit and everything. It's in there. Other blue oh, shit or whatever you want. <laughs> I eat yep. all that shit. I I just pick it up and boom, right in the mouth. And it's so good. Yep. And uh, I don't. I have nothing but great things to say about Wegmans. Like I got sushi from there that was delicious. I got burgers. Have you had their sparkling pizza. water? No, I don't drink sparkling water. Ah, uh, because my um, buddy, my I promised my buddy Piggy that I'd stop drinking so much soda. I, I had to cut back water. on the soda. I don't even drink. He said I, they're really good. Um, but I, you know, I've had people try to give me free alcoholic sparkling drinks. You know, that seltzer shit. Yeah. Gross. I won't drink it. It's horrible. It's disgusting. Right. I, I just, I just don't like it. I think it's disgusting. It's, it's like drinking an IPA. And again, I'll probably get heat for people saying about IPAs because they're so great. No, they're not. You're drinking a fucking pine tree. Banging doors like, will be banging on your banging <laughs> beers will be banging on your door. <laughs> hey. Hey. Yeah, well, yeah. Good night, folks. <laughs> yeah. No, better yet, you'd probably have Tony Depp and hitting you with a non knee pad knee in your face. You talk about IPAs, brother. <laughs> It, you're drinking you're a fucking pine cone. Pilgrim. That's what it tastes like. Go out and eat a pine cone, and you'll know exactly what an IPA tastes like. That's how like, I feel about hitting off those freaking vape pens. <laughs> so they taste like pine trees and battery acid. <laughs> but they work. <laughs> yeah, they do work. But they work. Neck ache. <laughs> but it's like you know, I the, the, I don't drink the IPA. I, I'm I'm a I'm a cider dude. I love ciders. I'm a huge cider guy. That's oh, the reason, man. like, I want to go to the National uh, Pennsylvania Cider. There's two of them. There's one in St. College, and there's one that's going to be in Gettysburg. Mm -hmm. uh, the one in Gettysburg is the one I really want to go to. That's, that's, that's the, the one big, you also go to, and then join the us in venue. Long Pond. Yeah. Hells yeah, dude. I'm probably going to do the one in the summer. I, I've missed it every year now. <laughs> so yeah. I think this is our fifth year doing it, and I miss it every year. 
But yeah, my, do the one in summer and hit us my up favorite and cider time. is Jack Cider, I, and I've drunk it. I've drank that on this sh show before. Yeah. And they're hosting the Cider Fest at, down in Gettysburg Ooh. this year. Yeah. yeah. With food. With food. So I'm gonna go down there and I'll probably I'll probably taste them. But yeah, yeah I was yeah, just dude. just dude. Wegmans had nothing. I, I I can't say anything bad about them. There's really nothing bad to say about no, them. No, I love Wegmans. I, if they you got guys, a nice lobster tank too. Yeah, I'm telling everybody, go to Wegmans. Like, they're yeah. great. They're really great. They have everything that you want ever. And if, you, mm -hmm. if you're if you hungry and you I want agree. lunch, you can go there for fucking lunch. Yeah. And get a sandwich. <laughs> you know? They you got get, good rotisserie You chickens. can get the Duke special. What's it, what, what's your what's your sandwich again? I like the spiced gabagool. Um, what is it? The gabagool, the spiced ham, and the... Um... I think it's the tur turkey breast. That's what it was. Yeah, that's I was there was some, there was a weird meat on that Italian sam sandwich. Yeah. It's almost a whole Italian, but there's a one weird meat on there, and it's the turkey that you put on there. Yeah, I had it. It was banging. I was like, yeah, and I and I got the big was it the long roll, I guess. Long Ooh, roll. yeah, yeah, and it was so good. I, I think I added mayonnaise on mine. I think, but good to, yeah, with the oils. But. But all right, we we went a little bit long, twenty minutes on food talk. Yeah, <laughs> we did. That's okay, all right, guys. Though. Like like I said before, next show season finale of the Batman of of the show. We're gonna watch the Batman. We're gonna try to no, get no, to no, the no, Batman. No, 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 no. Like I said, if, if we don't have one by next week, we'll definitely have one by the week before because again, I get paid, so I'll I'll definitely have money to go to yep. the show. But uh, all right, guys, it's your boy the Penguin. It's the Duke. And that was a uh, thank you for tuning in to Wicked Turtle Network exclusive. Follow us on all social media and also click the link tree in the description for this video. I also would like to take the time right now and welcome us as a brand new ambassador to raise energy drinks. Wicked Turtle has joined the hashtag raise rebellion with Raise Energy Drinks. Raise Energy Drinks gives you fresh, which stands for focus, recovery, energy, stamina, and hydration, with giving you no crash. Raise has zero sugar with electrolytes and BCAA aminos. So hashtag raise up and go to your local GNC or vitamin shop and pick up a can or go to repsports.com and order your Raise Energy Drinks and other athletic supplements in bulk and type in order code wicked turtle for 15% off your order and that code will be in the description of this video <laughs>